welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a first impressions video on the newest collaboration in town. This is the Queen Palette by Fumi X Juvia's Place. Now you guys know I love Juvia's Place, so I was pretty excited to see them do something new. Their last palette wasn't really my favorite, the Coral Palette I believe, is that what it was called? It was a coral themed palette and you know I know a lot of people that like cool tones were really excited for it. It wasn't my cup of tea, so I skipped it. It was one of the very first Juvia's palettes I actually skipped. From time to time keep thinking I should just add it because of the completionist in me but I have decluttered a few of my Juvia's Place palettes and only kept very few of my favorites so that wouldn't even make sense. Also really quick this is kind of a different background. I am changing things up in my beauty room just because I was ready for a change. I wanted a different background so this is like a work in progress you know and if the lighting is weird I do apologize. So this palette launched what like a day or two ago and I did pick it up on the Juvia's Place website and this is a multifunctional palette so it's supposed to go on your eyes and on your face. It does say on here it is a cruelty free product and it's designed and formulated in the USA and manufactured in the People's Republic of China. It is a 24 month shelf life. So this is what the palette looks like. This is everything I'm wearing on my face. Before I show you the eyeshadow look and the face look that I, well the face look, the look or whatever, everything on my face before I show you that, I do wanna swatch this palette for you. So let's do that really quick. So here are the five fingers. And I'm just gonna swatch. Here they are. So we have Adrian Ole Glam, FDV approved, sister to sister, and then the very last shade, which is stunning. It's called Seven, and it's a matte pink shade. So here are the swatches on my skin tone. If you guys want to check them out closer, just pause the video and check that out. Now really quick, I do want to let you know on the back here it says this is a collaborative effort with lifestyle blogger and model Fumi De La Voigt, an eccentric take on Queen of Hearts card game mixed with Fumi's love for colors. The palette features six high pigments that are multifunctional. So it does say on here that they are pigments so they don't call them eyeshadows just so you guys know and it doesn't say anywhere on the palette that this is an eyeshadow palette so it is a pigment palette and it definitely performs like a pigment so keep that in mind when you are purchasing this and the other thing I just wanted to say is I didn't know who Fumi was and there's so many collabs you know it's so hard to keep up obviously I am a fan of Juvia's Place so that really called to me and then I actually went and checked out her reveal video of the collaboration and it was just so amazing like she did behind the scenes she explained all the shades all the shade names she chose like she spoke from the heart and she was very genuine and I just love her brand and what she stands for empowering women especially because she is a little bit of an older gal I believe she said she was like 48 or almost 50 and she had gotten married at 40 had a kid at like 48 or like she has a very unique story and it's just a very empowering story so I'm so glad that Juvia place decided to collaborate with somebody so unique and special I think it's just you know even if you don't support the collab and you don't want to buy the palette I think Fumi is worth checking out just all on her own so if you guys could do yourself a favor definitely go check out her reveal video I'll try and remember to link it down in the comments just because I thought it was that well put together I just think she had a really nice story and just seems like a cool person so I think we should definitely support her as part of the beauty community. Anyway, I feel like I've blabbered enough so I'm gonna get into this eye look for you guys. Okay, so to start off with I'm gonna go in with my favorite blending brush. This is a Wayne Goss number 16 and I'm going into the shade Sister to Sister. This shade I'm actually really excited to use on my face because I feel like that's gonna be like the most beautiful nude blush. My eyelids are primed. Um, with the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow primer. I'm just blending this shade. Okay, I really like this color. It's like a great neutral shade, so I think that was a good way to start off the eye look. Now I'm going into a smaller crease brush. This is the Wayne Goss number 19, and I want to do like a little bit of pink and a little bit of purple. So I'm gonna grab the shade 
7, which is the matte pink shade. And I'm just going to place that in the inner half of my crease and kind of blend it into the lid too. I'm not too worried about it. Ooh, I like it. It's so pigmented looking. And then I'm just going to keep the same brush and go into the shade Adrian, which I believe is her son's name. And I'm just going to throw that in the outer half. If you're a neutral lover, I think the only thing this palette is really missing for somebody that like is half into color but also loves neutrals is like a deepening up shade, but I think you can just reach for another palette for that. Like everyone has a good smoky brown color that they can, you know, blend out the crease with the purple. It's okay. I wish it was as pigmented as the pink, I guess I would say. I have to clean up a little bit on the outer corner there. And then now I'm feeling a little brave, so I'm going into the shade Ula, which is her husband's name. And I'm going to put that in the outer corner to try and darken that up some more. Wow, the purple is like not really doing so hot. It's like almost like blending away when I try to add more color. So I'm just going to leave it because I don't want to lose the shade. And then I want to go into the shade if um, DB approved, which is like the shimmer shade. And I grabbed my Smith number 256. This is like my new favorite brush for doing any kind of eyeshadow placement on the lid because it has that pointed tip. I, if I had extra money, I'd buy like five of these and have them on hand because I use it like every day now. So here you can see the little point. Okay, so I'm going to go into FDV Approve, which is the shimmer shade, and I'm going to place that on the inner corner. I'm going to wipe off the brush and go into Glam, which I want to use on the outer two-thirds of my lid. I don't know if it's my brushes or like my lids are so dry, but this does not feel like Juvia's Place to me. Like the shimmers are okay, but like my mattes are like, I don't know, they look like they're almost fading away. Like, what is happening to this eye look? <laughs> I'm not pleased. The purple is like mostly faded. With this little pencil brush and try to blend the two shades a little bit. And then I'm gonna try and use this brush again and go in and brighten up the pink. It's definitely working like a pigment, like you just kind of have to like place it, you can blend it, which pigments have come a long way from like the original stuff. So the fact that it's doing this to me, I'm very, very not happy with it at all. Like if you look, it's like so muddy. That's so odd. That is so, so odd. Huh. Okay, so I'm going to go put foundation on and I will be back to use this on my face. Okay, so I did my base and I want to do my lower lash line really quick. I decided that I'm going to go in with the hot pink shade and I'm just going to place that underneath the lower lash line. Ooh, I love that. Okay, and then I just wanna go into the shade Adrian. Actually, I should use that other. I'm gonna use the Sonia G Pencil Pro and go into FDV Approve. And I'm just going to place that in my 
inner corner because it's like the most beautiful like inner corner highlight and then because I don't love how my eye looks turned out I'm just going to use a little bit of Urban Decay glitter this is in the shade volume and I like to just kind of um, spread that on the inner corner and then just over the lid Kind of just to, I want it to look like glitter. So I'm just, and then that'll add like a little, wow. It'll just add like a little extra sparkle to my lid. Actually, let's put some in the lower lash line too I swear guys glitter makes everything better so while that's drying I just want to do blush and highlighter so for blush I kind of want to just go safe and go sister to sister and yes my blush brush is the one I use every day but I'm not too worried about like some other blush being on there Can you guys see the color? Oh yeah, that looks good. Ooh, I think I accidentally got some pink blush in there, but that's okay, I can mix it. Yeah, I definitely got some pink in there. <laughs> this blush brush might be a little too big for this job, but I kind of love how it turned out. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder because I can see so well. So I really, really, really love the shade Glam and FDB Approve I think would just be so beautiful as a highlight. But Glam I think on like a deeper skin tone is going to be so beautiful. So I'm just going to go in with Glam and place it on the spots where I would usually do highlighter. And I'm just using again my everyday highlighter brush. This is um, the Real Techniques brush. And then I want to go in with Glam and kind of like mix them on the cheekbones. Ooh. Yeah, squeam. <laughs> so, very, very beautiful highlight and blush. And I want to go in with some Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I recently kind of rediscovered this spray in uh, my Hero Makeup Challenge video. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the cards for you guys to check out. That was a really fun video to film. So now I'm just going to do mascara. Okay, guys. So here is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed my little first impression slash demo of this palette. Quick roundup of my initial thoughts on this. I definitely feel like the mattes and the shimmer shades were a little bit drier than I'm used to. They don't blend as easily as I'm used to with the Juvia's Place formula. So I don't know if it's just Honestly, I haven't used a Juvia's Place palette in a while, but I feel like I remember from the Tribe palette that those mattes were really buttery and blendable and same with the shimmers. So I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I really, really enjoyed using this as a face palette. I think this is gonna be so much fun as a face palette because you can make so many fun, unique shades. Even this like blush shade I created kind of out of accident because my blush brush was picking up the pink shade and it just created this beautiful, pink nude shades. So I really like that and I love the highlighters. I think FDB approved is going to be a beautiful highlighter on you know light to medium skin tones and then glam is just going to be the most beautiful highlighter on deep skin tones and I think if you mix the two you can definitely create a very unique highlighter shade so I'm very very excited to play with this. I think for the price point it's great. The packaging is you know really really nice and sturdy and beautiful so if you have been eyeing this palette I would recommend picking this up but I definitely do want to play with it some more before I give you my 
final thoughts on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know if you're planning on picking this palette up down in the comments and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys.